Nikki says Derek's perfect, except for his height. I'm sorry, you're just a little too short for me. His waist. He's so fat, he crushes me. And his kissing. He has braces. So she had a tall, slim, blind date. He wouldn't crush me, that's for sure. And his kisser was a keeper. He has pretty teeth, no braces. After Derek's date checks him out and checks him in. We went back to my hotel room. I know you didn't. You <laughs> boy, you better not have <laughs> Will she overlook his shortcomings? <laughs> or have a change of heart? Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Let's meet our couple. Now, they met in economics class. He liked her booty and her brains, and he thought she was hotter than the bull market, so he asked her out on a date. Now, that was seven months ago, and they're wondering if their stock is still rising or if it's about to crash. So give it up for Derek Grant and Nikki Donnelly. Welcome to the show. And Nikki, i got to ask you, since we're talking about the stock market, what kind of dividends do you get being his girlfriend? Well, we <laughs> I got in a car accident about a couple months ago, and he was just so sweet. He was there for you? <laughs> yeah, he sent me roses and stuff to home, work, and at school. And it was just great. That was the sweetest thing he's ever done for me. And Derek, what about you? What makes Nikki a really good long-term investment? I mean, besides the fact that, like, uh, she's in school, so an education is really important to me. I can tell that she's determined and that she's going to have a good future. Ambitious. You know, and she has some pretty good assets, if you know what I mean. I know what you're saying, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Derek, what about when it comes to getting along with Nikki? How, e how easy is she to get along with? She's a pain in the ass. Whoa, 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 that's because, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, that's because she's always right. I'm Plenty always about, wrong. That's true. Right? No, he missed, listen he to, missed his flight listen here, to Chris. Come on. How can, Look, that yes, is not important. That was not now, wrong. Nikki, Nikki, what about when it comes to Derek romantically, what's the biggest problem? He's so fat, he crushes me. <laughs> I mean, look at him. You know, he lays on the sofa. I can't breathe. No, please don't. I'm in the gym. Hey, you know what? Yeah, you got it here, what? but baby, you got to work on it right there. You know? Okay. You got to work on it. Right, so he's a little big for you. Yeah, he's a little big guy. Now, but, Nikki, while we're on the, on the topic, describe his kissing style. He kisses like he's on a soap opera. He gets, you know, the head thing, doing okay, all so this. Uh, 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 it's all dramatic. And he has braces. And mm. so he cut me and he oh, makes me. Yeah, that would be, okay. that'd be a little makes tricky. Makes me right. Yeah. And Derek, what about you romantically with Nikki? Any problems? Nah, it's just the fact now she's sitting here talking about my kissing and stuff. And I, you you should have told me that before. I my mean, bad, my bad. What is it that she does that really gets your goat, though? Wait, look, she compares me to all her ex-boyfriends. If you were taller, right? we wouldn't no, have wait, a hold problem. Now listen, I'm saying incredible. Now, oh. wait, if her boyfriends were winners, then she'd be oh, well, with them you know what, though, they, now. But okay, instead, yeah, she won't sit here and talk about me. They, she hey, can keep they that. did, they did keep some that. things that were wrong, but they did a something lot of that things. you don't do. Losers. That's okay, though. Losers. They do some things Losers. you don't do, baby. So you have to give him that list. Yeah, you know? Oh, That's all right, though, baby. All right, Nikki, what about uh, when you guys go out to dinner? What kind of criteria does he use as about the places that he picks to take you? Uh, if it doesn't have plastic silverware, we don't that eat there. Not Burger King is the hot spot. That's it. Burger King is That's because it's spot. close to the he, job. Derek. I mean, he is so cheap. He's the cheapest man in life. He has uh, ribs so on layaway. Whatever I'm doing with my money, is, I'm doing the right it, thing. Right, Derek, do you priority? classify yourself as cheap? I mean, I'm, I'm not cheap. It's yeah, just that cheap. I prioritize. You're cheap. That's what I do. I see. Right? Oh, so That's I'm not a priority. No, I'm not, I'm not a priority. That. See, she's comparing us. You compare yourself to other things. You don't no, need to I, do that. I should become before Rand. Now, wait a minute, guys. Because here's an interesting twist that they don't know about. She's Nikki's actually your boss. So, what's that like at work? What? I, she's lazy, oh. all right? Oh. Hey, look, oh. she, wait, huh? no, she's a ball wait a busting basically. Wait. That's all she does. If you if you come into our job, she sits at the computer. Whatever. If you, email girl, internet girl, that's all it is, that's all right? The, that's Constant not even computer right. stuff. I mean, I'm going to need you to turn your cell phone off at work next time. How about <laughs> that? Having your cell phone ringing. I don't know who it is. You need to stop that for real. So there's an so. interesting rub in the relationship oh, yeah. then with the it's, two of you. Uh, does, mm -hmm. Yeah, now, he's Nikki, a sexist. Do you, do you, sexist. Yeah, there you go. See, I was going to ask you, do you think he has a problem? Yes. He has woman. sexist issues. And, and he, he's terrible. He doesn't like to listen to us. There's more women in the office and than there are men. If it was the fact that she I wasn't always so right about I things, then I wouldn't have a problem. Nikki, yeah. tell us why it's a good thing that you're on the show today, or at least why you think it will be. Well, um, we spend too much time together. We work together. We go to school together. We do everything together. I just think that if, you know, we go out, do some other things. I will learn to appreciate each other. We won't take each other for granted. All right, we're going to see if that actually happened. Yeah. Now, when we come back, Nikki's date offered to let her spend the night. Did she or didn't she? We'll find out the answer next. <laughs> Nikki and 
and Derek. Now, Nikki complains that Derek is vertically challenged and crushes her in the bedroom. So we fixed her up with a six foot one cutie who says when it comes to the bedroom, his touch is as light as a feather. So say hey to Seth Weathers. <laughs> Hello. And Derek, you're laughing as soon as he comes out. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just, no, it's cool. It's cool. You know. <laughs> I see. Yeah, nice outfit. Man. There you go. Now, Nikki, when you hooked up with Seth, did he remind you of anyone? Yes, he reminded me of a pretty Omar Epps. He's oh. got a great height, what? great great look. He has pretty teeth, no braces. Mm -hmm. oh, so so you like that, then, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So that's good. So, yeah. Seth, she thought you were pretty. Uh, I hope you felt the same way about her. Oh, most most definitely. I mean, she's got sexy lips, Ow. nice thighs, Ow. nice juicy ass. <laughs> Good. Now, I understand, though, actually, the date kind of got off to an ugly start. Explain what happened. Well, it was like she was nervous. She kind of froze up. And it's like 186 miles to Shreveport. So oh, so y'all going out of town? Well, you're, you're going to go to the casinos we there, to the casinos right? to gamble. And, you know, I thought it was going to be like the date from hell because she was like just sitting there kind of frozen. Right. That's a long ride, three hours in a car like that. So, Nikki, yeah. what was going on? I mean, I was nervous. I mean, I've never been on a blind date before, so I was just kind of nervous, and I felt like I was going to cheat on my boyfriend. I oh, mean, yeah. I felt like, not that I was going to, but I felt like I was cheating, and I felt bad. Right. Now, has uh, Derek ever taken you to Shreveport to do any gambling or anything like that? Uh, he takes me to Blockbuster. <laughs> no, I was saying, do you, think, do you think I couldn't make it in a car with her for that long? Three hours. <laughs> Come on. Man, well, yeah, you talk too much. You talk my ear if I fall asleep on you. Well, Nikki, what about when you were in the car with Seth? Did he have to do all the talking, though, until you finally warmed up? Um, no, he really asked me a lot of questions just to get me to start to talking and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that was really nice. He put me in the spotlight, whereas if it was Derek, he tried to be the center of attention. Right. Uh, so you felt true. good that way. Yeah, that's true. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. He now, Nikki, what about something that Derek does that Seth didn't do or vice versa? Oh, Derek has gas. He oh. um, yeah. at work he hey, goes and like he, this is coming from somebody. I'm saying he you can't on say the, uh, the people at work and then nah. runs off. Oh. Oh. That's an understatement that's from what she is. Nice. I'm saying she has those shoes class. right now. That's good. I'm telling you. Oh, oh. What are you trying to say? Because you're always barefoot. So I have pretty. Feet. I mean, but you do everything oh. else. I mean, oh, so the good news is that Seth didn't do that. Right? No, okay. he, he has too much class for that. What? All right. Now, oh Seth, uh, speaking of Derek here, any indication from Nikki about her opinion about the guy? Well, I kind of asked a little bit about him. And, you know, when I asked about him, she kind of got this look on her face like she smelled something bad. <laughs> I mean, she was saying that she, she said he was obnoxious. Was it you? He, oh, oh, I always smell good, partner. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it wasn't him. But she always said he always wears plaid. He's Bye. obnoxious. And she said he kind of suffers from SMS. Short man syndrome. Oh. But you talk about what I'm wearing, and he got on a sponge. Hey, for hey, oh, hey, hey, But you, you know soaking it up. Oh. But that's all right. You, I mean, you look good today, but you don't have on plaid. All right, Nikki, no. let's talk about when you got the Shreveport. Was Lady Luck on your side when you guys went gambling? Oh, no, I lost all my money. All your all cash? It. All of it. All of it. Now, like Nick, you haven't said if Seth was gambling or not. I hope he wasn't too cheap to be spending any money. No, actually, he started feeding money into the slot machine when he saw that I was losing all my money, trying oh, yeah. to make me feel better. That's a first date. That's a first date thing. Yes, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, you would have laughed. He would have laughed and what? be like, "Oh, you lost your money. Let's go." Give him twenty dollars to play on the slot machine or something like that. That's not smart. Oh, well, nah. Okay. But still, you all know right. what I'm saying? That's well, Seth, what about you, though? She's losing money. You do anything to make her feel better? Well, yeah, I was, like, standing beside her, standing kind of close, rubbing her on her back and, you know, letting her know that it's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to rub her for luck. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, Nikki, a couple of advances coming on, uh, you know, coming on to you a little bit in the casino. How'd you feel about that? Well, I, you know, I was getting more and more attracted to him as the night was going on. He was nice, you know, just oh, sweet yeah. and everything. You guys uh, then had dinner a little bit later on, I guess. So how was dining out with Seth different than with Derek? Well, we didn't go to Burger King. So no I've never gone anywhere nice, Derek. I mean, really. Come you know on, that's true. So you had a nice dinner with Seth? Out very of nice, something like that? Very nice dinner. It was, I mean, everything was great. I mean, he flirts with the waitress to get free food. Right. Um, <laughs> right. 
Congress. Look, wait. Seth respected Shit that is not me, flirting. Not. If I like to have a good time, then I'm going to make people have a good time. Well, uh, the waitress was flirting with Seth. He did not do that. He respected me enough to get just so that. So that was a good experience also. Yeah, I understand Seth too. You, right you guys went dancing afterwards. If you yeah. had to pick one song that sort of summed up the uh, mood of her when she's partying with you, what was that? Back that ass up. <laughs> She did it quite well. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Quite well. <laughs> okay. I'm sure there were some right. moments there. Now, Derek, uh, does that make you a little nuts? She was backing it up into it? No, I mean, you know what? <laughs> That dude can't handle that anyway, you know. Ooh. And it's like, but the, you're making fun of me. You uh-huh. sitting there beside uh-huh. him. Uh-huh. Look at that. Uh-huh. You know, I have no problem going with one extreme to the other. Oh. Uh-huh. Now, Nikki, anything you could tell by watching Seth dance, you got an inclination of? Oh, uh, he looked like he could, you know, kind of work it in the sack, you know. I mean, <laughs> Moving, gyrating, right. moving the hips and all that. You know, he wouldn't crush me, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Seth, between you and me, did she get a chance to test that theory? No, unfortunately not. We got back. We drove back from Shreveport. We got there about 3.30, got back home. And I offered to let her stay because she had to drive back to Denton, and that's kind of a drive, and she was tired, so... I offered to let her stay, but, you know, she, she declined, so I gave her a nice warm hug, and then she left. Yeah. Now, let's just kind of go one step further, Seth. If she would have stayed the night, what do you think might have happened? I don't know. We may have to test that theory on backing that thing up on the waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, when we come back, we're going to find out how Derek ended up in bed with his date. That's next. <laughs> Now it's Derek's turn to dish. Derek says that with Nikki, he feels like he can't do anything right, so he wanted to get himself out of troubled waters and fly friendlier skies, so we found him a flight attendant who definitely says she's something special in the air. Give out some loving for Valky's Lane. Now, Derek, after talking on the phone with Velkies, who would you say would make the better 976 operator, your date or your girlfriend? Definitely Velkies, all right? That's because, that's because she has, I'm saying, like, a good outgoing personality, a nice and voice. I don't have a She's bilingual, okay? So, Derek, what about uh, when you were talking to Velkies? Did you learn anything about her that helped you prepare for the date? Yeah. Um, like in talking to her and everything, found out that like because of her job, she's not able to always relax. And um, so what I did was on the way to picking her up, I picked her up a bouquet of scented candles. You know, oh. you picked her up what? Man, you, don't, you can't you even know? pick me up a bouquet of but roses or nothing. This is not trying to be jealous about Man, nothing. Whatever, whatever. It was just a gal. Yeah, yeah. You well, let me ask Belky. A nice surprise there. The bouquet of scented candles. Was he as nice as the uh, present? Oh my God! When I opened the door, I totally thought he was like so cute. He had the warmest smile, and I thought he had the sexiest cute. pair of plaid pants on. Plaid pants. Plaid pants. Plaid pants. Plaid pants. <laughs> Sexy. I like him. Sexy. Sexy. She likes that. Listen to her voice, though. That's what I'm talking about. What? What? Plaid pants. Okay. What you, man, now, Derek, you had a chance to talk to her. You finally pants. got to lay your peepers on her. Yeah. What did you think when you saw her? I mean, look at her. She's like this Latin goddess or something like that. She's from Panama. I mean, it's just this, it's this, it's this mm. thing about I me. Mean, her hair, her face. I mean, the total what package. It? It's a team. Oh, you liked it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a team. Yeah. Now, Derek, was Velkis the Why only thing that was making you hot that night? Uh, actually, no, it's like a flu epidemic, like where I'm from. So, um, I was, I was, I was sick. I was sick the day, and I was running a little temperature. But knowing that this was like one of the only times that she was, was going to be in town, to get out of work. knowing that this was one of the only times she was going to be in town, I went ahead, sucked it up, and we went Aww, on our date anyway. Make sure. Velkies, did his fever or any of that, you know, keep him from being romantic? Oh, God, he was so romantic. No, when we were downtown, um, this downtown. guy offered to sell us, like, some flowers. Downtown. And he came up to me and he was like, if, if you give him a kiss on the cheek, I'll give you the flowers. So I leaned over and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Oh. Oh. That was very nice. And he got a free I mean, flower. Yeah. That was good. And Derek, what did you have to do in return? Well, actually, the guy um, told me to give her a kiss back, you know, so that, you know, right. she wouldn't be charged for the flower or whatever. And I gave her a kiss. <laughs> and then, wait, but then, then oh, the guy okay. tried to charge me for, uh, for the roses or whatever. Oh, he did? Yeah. He's trying to rip you off. <laughs> yeah. oh now, God. Nikki, do you think he spent any money on those flowers? Oh, no. Uh-uh. It was probably about $2. He didn't, give him, he didn't get it. It didn't mm-hmm. matter. The flowers were cool. So he didn't get it. And Valkyrie's did he? Uh-huh. Oh, no. He didn't get it. They were cheesy but plastic flowers. I didn't want them anyway. Oh, I didn't so want them anyway. So he passed on Plastic flowers. Man, I don't anyway, know, maybe that's your taste, but that's not mine. Oh. 
<laughs> Derek, did you, did, did you find that refreshing that she really didn't care? Hey, it was a breath of fresh air. Here was, I wasn't in the doghouse or the outhouse gotcha. or nothing like that. I mean, she was just understanding everything. That's Fun, how I nice I'm going to go. Okay. Now, Velkies, oh. Nikki was complaining earlier that Derek's uh, obnoxious. Did you get that same impression? He is so not obnoxious. I mean, it must be her. I don't know her personality because he's great. No, oh, man. He was hilarious. He was no, hilarious the whole day. Everything no, that came out of his mouth was funny. He was sweet. Yeah. I mean, now, Nikki, I heard that when they went out on their date, they played miniature golf. Who do you think won the game? Derek probably did. We went bowling on our first date. Yeah, he beat me. Mm -hmm. I thought I should have won. You know, he's real competitive <laughs> like that. So, Derek, who won the golf match? Uh, actually, I let Velkis win. You oh, better win. Gonna, but he's going to let her win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You now, Velkis, after you golf, I understand you guys actually had to make a pit stop. Explain yeah, that. Yeah, we did. We went to Target to get him some medicine because he was Target. sick, and I didn't want him to feel, you know, bad right. or anything. Little fair floor but he brought me a camera. Oh. He bought you a camera? What is this? A camera. What, what are you buying her stuff for? I don't understand <laughs> this. See, he's spending you some cash. You don't need to spend no money on her. her. You don't need to worry Woo! about that, though. Anyways. Now, Derek, what about the other difference with Velky? Did you get the impression that she had that temper that Nikki sometimes shows you? Mm, not at all, man. I'm saying, like, um, when we went to the Latin club and, like, we were supposed to eat Damn, there, it was packed. Club. It was packed, okay? <laughs> and she went, she, I mean, we couldn't sit there and wait that long because she was real hungry. Mm. So we packed up. We went to another spot on the way there, called ahead, time made reservations. She was cool about everything. Unlike somebody else. Well, well, well. Now, Belkis, you got a camera. Did you get a chance to use it? We did at dinner. Um, we took some pictures. Took with pictures the waitress of yourself, took pictures. Right? Waitress. The waitress took pictures of us, and she thought that we were a couple. We told her a story about the date and being on the show, and she thought we were so cute. Yeah. Right. She, she was saying, oh, you need to have a change of heart. You need to oh. be with her. I mean, oh. she didn't know anything about his girlfriend, That's right. she but don't she know totally me. thought she we, know should, me. we should she be together. Oh. I see. Velkies, I understand that Derek didn't feel good enough to go dancing, so did the date end right there after dinner? No, it didn't. Uh, we went back to my hotel room. <gasps> <laughs> my hotel room oh, and hotel he room. did buy me those candles to relax and he wanted me to feel real relaxed yeah. so he offered to give me a massage oh. <laughs> I know you didn't you <laughs> boy you better not have <laughs> <laughs> come on so Derek what, what is exactly were you feeling while you were copping one there dude I mean you know the temptation you know to bite a neck or something like that it was there <laughs> but I, I didn't I didn't do it. Like, didn't. Okay, you so didn't? yeah, I um, you know, finished up. It was getting kind of late. You know, I wasn't feeling that well. She finished was tired, up, huh? so um, I went ahead. You know, gave her a kiss good night, and I was on my way home. Oh, kissed her. Great. Yeah, but Nikki, the point is though, he you did. Nikki, he Nikki, I'm he sorry. did actually, he did actually give her a massage. I guess that's the point though. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Okay, just make yeah. sure you didn't miss that. Oh no, I didn't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Now, Derek, was that bareback or was it through the shirt or how was that done? Oh, uh, she just had her shirt up pretty much. So I mean, it was bareback pretty much. Yeah. So. Oh. All right, Woo. that's it. Uh, will a semi-naked <laughs> massage be enough to give Derek a change of heart? We're gonna find out next. Stay tuned. Because they say they spend so much time together, they were getting on each other's nerves, and they wanted to see if going out with someone new would help them appreciate what they already have. Did it work? Let's find out. Nikki, we're going to start with you. After seven months, you said almost it's too much of each other. So we sent you out with Seth. You guys went gambling. He dropped some cash on you, treated you the way you know, wanted to be treated. <laughs> What's your decision? I mean, Derek's like, you know, an old pair of sweats, you know, it's comfortable. Oh. Going out with Seth, you know, it was like trying on a new dress. It was, it was all new to me. <sighs> but you always want to go back to the sweats. Oh. So you say stay together. <laughs> Seth, sorry things didn't work out for you. Now, Derek, we're going to get your decision. Nikki says she wants to stay together, but you went out with Velkies. Said you had a great time, even though you weren't feeling too good. You guys spent some time together. You felt like you didn't have the stress and you weren't in trouble all the time like you were with Nikki. What's your decision? You know, uh, Nikki and I, we do spend a lot of time together, you know, and uh, going out with Velkis, you know, it was like a, it was a breath of fresh air. Um, it was real nice and I appreciate the time that I had with her. And um, I'm going to have to have a change of heart. Change of heart. There. Now, Nikki, there's good news and bad news here. Nikki, for you, I don't think you'll have any trouble finding a new relationship. I know. The bad news is, Derek, you may have a little trouble finding a new job. <laughs> uh, that's our show for today. Thanks to Nikki and Seth, and good luck to Velkies and Derek. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart. Yeah.